Hello and welcome back. I'm Melinda Bigley and today I wanted to give you guys just a quick little tip on um, ironing or pressing rather your embroidery designs. So there are a couple schools of thought on this. Number one, um, never ever ever press your the front of your embroidery. I'm not very good at a never ever thing so I kind of go with what I've got going on with the project itself. Um, I will say that I don't embroider, I don't iron, I don't put my, the sole of my iron right on embroidery designs like this. There are times where I might press on my uh, quilting stitches, but um, what I would recommend is what's called a pressing cloth. So this particular press cloth came from um, OESD and uh, all you do is you cover your embroidery and you're going to kind of just move across and that'll really take out any kind of puckers that you might have in there. So really what this, this tutorial is specifically about is this pressing cloth. So if you need to press your um, embroidery, I, I do use an iron on the top of my embroidery designs when I use a press cloth. Now, you can flip it over and press from that side as well. Um, and it won't actually harm your your uh, threads. So what it does, if you get if you apply, apply direct heat from an iron to the threads in your embroidery design, it really dulls them and presses them obviously flat, which is the intention of an iron. Um, and they just don't look as good as they should. And you know, what we're doing, we're not striving for perfection, obviously, but what we are trying to do is to improve each time we we are making a project and you want it to be as professional and um, the professional looking as possible. So this is just one more way to improve your projects and to um, and to make you happier with what you're what you're creating because it obviously feels good to make a project that we look at and we are proud of so that's just one little tip once again this press cloth is a, well, i've really liked it and i've had it for quite some time um, i'm sure a lot of you will say hey can't you just use a section of batting yeah, sure. I mean, if that's something you want to try, I honestly don't know if there's something specific about this press cloth that's different than, um, I, I, I don't usually like the, the way my batting presses. So this is designed to withstand that kind of heat over and over and over again. So I, I really do recommend the press cloth. I have nothing to do with any of the companies. Um, it's just something that I like to share with you guys so that you can improve your embroidery. Okay, and once again, that's OESD for that particular press cloth. And then my favorite iron, which is an Aliso. And yes, you don't have to set it. You're not setting it like this. You set it right on the sole plate and it pops up. Kind of scary for some people at first, but they're pretty neat and they do have an automatic shut off. So little bonus tip. That will be it for the day. I hope everyone is doing well. And if you haven't joined So Blessed Quilting and Embroidery Facebook group, please do so. We have... Um, we have our lives every Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and lots of classes listed there. We do have an, a, a website coming and you'll be able to access it there for people that are not on Facebook. So have a wonderful day, everyone, and I will see everybody soon. Bye-bye.